Okay, let's have a quick look at camshaft timing. So if you've dismantled the engine or changed the camshaft or anything like that, you will need to do this. Now there is another video that I have on the cam chain tensioning mechanism, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that. Um, at this point we assume that whatever you've done, the engine is the following state. It has the cylinder head back on the cylinder, uh, the camshaft is fitted, everything is torqued down and you're basically looking at um, timing the camshaft. Now the camshaft timing is performed with the piston at top dead centre. So inside there the, the, the piston is right up at the top of the, of the cylinder and the connecting rod is absolutely central. Now how you determine that is by timing marks on the flywheel that show the position of the crankshaft. Now they're probably hard to see but you, you probably won't be able to see that. There's actually a T-index in there and that lines up with that little mark there on the, camp, uh, on the, on the crankcase cover. Now, because you're not likely to have seen that, let's have a look. There's your mark there. Exactly the same. The flywheel that's inside, you can see there are two marks on that. One of them is T, which is the one for, on the right. And the other one is the F index, which indicates when the engine is going to fire. As that rotates, these, line, these marks of course line up. And the key way there to t make sure that the flywheel is located in exactly the same place on the engine, so these marks are as accurate as they possibly can be. So you do need to rotate your engine. So a socket going onto the flywheel nut. You don't want that cam chain to get messed up inside or snagged around the camshaft by the looks of things. So when you're rotating the engine, it's always good just to let it run over your fingers, keep light pressure on it. And then rotate the crankshaft around until that T mark there lines up with that mark on the um, on the cover. So inside there, of course, that flywheel is rotating around in there like so. The other mark that's of interest is on the cam sprocket itself, and you'll see that there are two marks there, one on each side. And basically, those marks must line up so that they are flat with the gasket face of the, the cylinder head, the rocket cover gasket. The camshaft itself, this is a standard camshaft. They're easy to tell. Um, you've got the two bolt holes there and it has a keyway. So if, we, if it's pointing straight up, then that basically is your, your timing. And of course, when you when you line the marks on the sprocket, um, it, it will it will automatically put the bolt holes in the right place anyway. So we just put that in there. That's finger tight, and those marks line up. Now if you were a little forward, like that is, you would just bring it back so that it's like that. And line up your two bolt holes. Now 
might just like to do those finger tight and make, make sure that that sprocket is sitting correctly on the camshaft. We'll put those in there finger tight. person. I, um, I like to actually put the tensioner on there and actually I like to physically check to make sure that the the timing is correct before I tighten everything up too much. tensioner we will tighten up just a little bit well all the way but it doesn't need to be too tight we'll tighten that up and then we will put tension on the cam chain so that we can get an accurate reading so once again Shaft till we see the top the T index top dead center mark line up. And I've gone about two degrees too far, so I'm going to keep moving it in the correct direction. Sprocket and it's in the correct place. So tighten up the cam chain tensioner. So what we have here, just to reiterate, just to look at it again, that uh, <laughs> strong magnets in there. index is lining up with that notch on the um, crankcase cover and that line there and that line there are parallel with the rocker cover gasket face so we're just going to finish up by tightening this off Using the socket to hold hold the crankshaft still. at this point if you were rebuilding the motor the next thing you would do is the valve clearances okay